Dihu Bhorda Agat Father Oak After School Hub is Misha Moonsar Kleana. Now, as you can see, I'm no longer in the Rediscovery Centre because I'm going to be telling you all about the Inuit culture. Let's see what it's all about. So the Inuit are one of many groups of First Nations, and First Nations mean Native Americans, who live in very, very cold places of Northern Canada, Greenland, the Arctic, and Alaska. They originally made their home along the Alaskan coast, but migrated to other areas, which means that they moved to different areas. Everything about the lives of the Inuit is influenced by the cold tundra climate in which they live. It's a lot colder than Ireland. The typical materials for making homes, such as wood and mud, are hard to find in the frozen tundra of the Arctic. So the Inuit learn to make warm homes out of snow and ice for the winter. During the summer, they would make homes from animal skin stretched over a frame made from driftwood, which is uh, wood that would be washed up by the sea, or whale bones. Now, the Inuit word for home is igloo. So you might have heard of the word igloo. Next time you're going home, you can say that you're going to your igloo, because that's the same word. And despite the harsh landscape of the Arctic, the Inuits still found ways to travel long distances. Can you think of any? Yep, on land and ice, they used dog sleds called Kwamatik. They bred strong sled dogs from wolves and dogs to pull the sleds, which were made from whale bones and wood. These dogs became known as the Husky Dog breed, which are a beautiful, beautiful breed of dog. On the water, the Inuit used different types of boat for different activities. For hunting, they used small single passenger boats called kayaks. You might have heard of those. They also built larger, faster boats called umikas that were used for transporting people, dogs and goods. The Inuit needed thick and warm clothing to survive the cold weather. They used animal skins and furs to stay warm. But what did the Inuit people eat, I wonder? The Inuit people were unable to farm. Obviously, there's not much growing <laughs> in the snow. And so they couldn't grow their own food in the harsh desert of the tundra. Because it is called a desert, even though it's snow. I know sometimes we think of deserts as being sandy and hot and with an oasis in it, but actually, uh, the Arctic tundra can also be considered a desert. They mostly lived off meat from hunting animals. And after hunting, and this is actually lovely, they would perform rituals and sing songs in honor of the animal spirit. So they reused and recycled everything from the animal. They fed themselves for a year and they still paid respect to the animal that gave its life to feed them and clothe them and make houses from. Now, today, most Inuit live in modern houses. Many still hunt or fish for a major part of their food supply and sometimes for income so they can make money from catching fish and selling them. They use rifles and snowmobiles when hunting now instead of harpoons and sleds. However, traditional values respecting the animals hunted still very much apply, so they still have a huge amount of respect for any of the animals that they do hunt. It's very challenging living in an Arctic environment and not for the faint of heart. I don't know if I would survive here for long. So there we are. I hope that you enjoyed learning all about the Inuit people. Send us in what you have learned about the Inuit people yourselves. Slam!